Alright guys, it is Saturday night again and I am so excited as usual because this is another one of my all-time favorite movies. Tonight we are watching Sky High. This movie is absolutely awesome. It's a Disney movie about a boy named Will whose parents are superheroes. He's just about to start school at a superhero academy with all his friends who have already got their powers, but Will has not got his powers yet. He doesn't tell anybody. He just goes to school and plays it off as if he already has his powers. Basically because nobody will listen to him. He kind of tries to tell them, but they think he's joking because his parents are the best superheroes on the face of the earth. Eventually he does get his powers, but I'm not going to tell you anymore. You're just going to have to see it for yourself. Right now, this movie is available to stream just about anywhere, except I don't believe it is on Netflix right now. I know it's on Prime and Vudu and YouTube, and there's a couple other ones but I don't remember what they are. Or you can go on Amazon and get it. It's about $7. And for tonight's snack, we are making one of the most awesome snacks ever. If you watched last week's episode, you know we watched Flubber and we made Flubber Floats. While we were out looking for that stuff, I saw Superhero Ice Cream. Now, I personally know it as Superman Ice Cream. I've been getting it for years. Whenever you go somewhere where they scoop your ice cream, I would ask for Superman Ice Cream. And when I saw it last week, I knew immediately what movie we were going to watch and what snack we were going to make. We are going to make Superhero Sundays. Guys, Come with me. I am so excited. Let's go get the stuff to make it. We're going to make our snack, and then we are going to watch this awesome movie. But first, who's ready to fly? To fly? Why? What in the world? All right, guys, there's Walmart down there, which is where we need to go for the ice cream. But I want to go to the Dollar Tree first, because I want to see if they have anything that we could use, like, as a superhero bowl. And this is the aisle it would be in if they do. They always have a ton of different plastic containers and things. Hmm, okay, maybe it'll be in the aisle next to this one. I don't want anything glass, although... This looks pretty dang cool. Not for a superhero mug, but I'm going to keep that in mind for something later on. But let's keep on moving down here because I remember there were like some kind of, yeah, like kids' bowls. Okay, like this kind of stuff right here. Here's a red bowl, and it has this straw connected to it so that as your uh, ice cream melts, you could like drink it. Look at these cups. These are actually pretty cool. I kind of wish they were blue, though. The only blue ones I see are these really tall ones. Of course, that doesn't even look blue. It's maybe green. They have these, but those are just too tall and not what I'm looking for at all. And that appears to be, like, the only things that we have to choose from. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get the red cup right here. That's probably the perfect size anyway. And right beside it here are fruit roll-ups. And I want some fruit roll-ups for this, but I don't want like the rainbow colored ones. These are tropical tie dye. Oh, hold on. Look at this right over here, right beside it. Fruit roll-ups hiding behind here. Strawberry sensation. That's exactly what I want. Now here's some other things in this aisle. If we didn't want to go with the red cup, these are, these look more green than blue. But they would work. And look at this. It's a buck twenty-five for ten of these instead of just one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. In the party supplies, they have little blue ice cream cups. That's exactly what we're gonna get right there. Now hold on. Every time I think I have what I want, I see something else that could be used. You got these little clear cups. I have some of those at home. And then we have these little dishes here. 
That would be good. These are not shaped how I want them, but these would be pretty dang good. Hmm. Yeah, I changed my mind again. We're going to go with these. Okay, on to Walmart. All right, I didn't think about it, but this is a different Walmart than where I saw that stuff. Chances are they have the same thing, though. Man, you gotta be kidding me. I am not seeing it here, guys. At the other one, there was two different brands, both with like the multicolored ice cream. That was superhero ice cream. I am not seeing any of it in here. But the closest thing I'm seeing to it is this red, white, and blue sherbet up here. Sorbet. <laughs> or, of course, here's rainbow sherbet. That would work, too, but I like the stuff with blue in it. It's not even on the end caps here. Like, look at this. They have all this stuff from Little Debbie, the zebra cakes, the birthday cakes, unicorn fudge rounds, oatmeal cream pies, honey buns, nutty bars, cosmic brownies. That stuff would be delicious, but it's not what we are looking for. Man, I wish I would have thought of that, but most Walmarts usually have the same stuff. Look, this is funny. They have Freedom ice cream sandwiches. Red, white, and blue ice cream sandwiches. That is hilarious. Look, what a tease, man. They even have a picture of it on the ice cream cone, on the Keebler ice cream cones. There it is, right there. Superhero ice cream, and they don't have it. All right, wait a minute. What is this here? Little Portions Rainbow Sherbert. Hmm. Still not what I want. All right, well, I guess we're just going to have to settle for this today. It's not what I want, but I am not driving all the way out to Canton again. I cannot even tell you how mad that makes me. This is exactly what I want right here. And at that Canton Walmart, they had two different brands that was the exact same thing. They have none of it here. That is absolutely insane. But we'll make do with our red, white, and blue sorbet. Well, I'm at least going to get some cherries to put on top. Maraschino cherries. I don't even know if that's how you say it, but let's go ahead and get this one right here. That is so disappointing. I hope when you guys go out looking for yours, you can actually find the superhero ice cream. It's so delicious. So since I had to get sherbet, it kind of changes the trajectory of what I'm trying to do here. I was trying to make superhero sundaes, and with superhero sundaes, you could put pretty much anything on regular ice cream, you know? I mean, I suppose you still could put it on this, but I don't think it would be as good. It just has to be stuff that's like superhero-y colored. <laughs> Like, I don't know if we actually have any superhero uh, cereal in here. I mean, it doesn't really have to even be superhero cereal, just something tasty that you can sprinkle on top that would add to it. Like, look at this. Here's a little thing of Fruity Pebbles. That's multicolored. And look at this one here. Trix Minis, that would be sweet. We definitely want to get some of this Ready Whip, but I believe I already have some at home. So I'm not going to buy any more. Of course, I'll regret it if I don't have any at home. Here's strawberry syrup. This is actually red syrup that you could put on. Oh, yum. Look at this marshmallow topping. Here's multicolored sprinkles. That would be good on your superhero sundae. Look at this. Fruit Loops, Cap'n Crunch, Oops All Berries. Any of that stuff would be perfect. All right. Well, we didn't get exactly what we wanted, but sometimes you just got to make do. Let's get home and make do. Okay, so I have everything here that I bought. I'm ready to make these sundaes. Now, you guys can make these however you want with your favorite sundae toppings, your favorite kind of ice cream, whatever you want to do. I just thought it would be cool if we used the superhero ice cream tonight to make superhero ice cream sundaes. And as you know from the last clip, unfortunately, I did not find the right kind of ice cream. They had two different kinds at the Canton Walmart, and I went to the Maslin Walmart, and all I could find was this red, white, and blue sorbet, which is funny because it actually works maybe even better than the other stuff because I like to color coordinate, and if you look at the box here, the Commander's Super Suit is red, white, and blue. So it kind of turns out that I like it better instead of the stuff that had the other colors and the yellow because it's red, white, and blue. So the reason why I wanted these little clear cups is basically so you could see all the colors through the cup. Now these are 
a little smaller than what I actually wanted. But if you look at it, it's basically about the size of the cup that you would get a sundae in if you went to Dairy Queen. So it's just like a single serving superhero sundae cup. So we have our ice cream, we have our cherries, we have our ready whip, and we have our fruit roll-ups. Now why do we have fruit roll-ups, you may ask? <laughs> well, because I thought it would be cool to add a cape, a superhero cape, to our superhero sundaes. I'm really curious as to how this looks inside the container. Oh, look at that. How awesome does that look? I almost don't even want to disturb it. Oh my gosh, it is like frozen solid too. I'm actually going to have to let this sit out a little bit to get soft before I can make our sundaes. Okay, while we wait for that to get soft, let's deal with our fruit roll-ups here. The reason I have these is because I want to make one of these into a cape that we can put on our superhero sundaes. I can't think of anything that would work better than this right here. Look at this. That is a cape right there if I ever saw one. So I think the only thing that we really need to do with this, all right, it's kind of stuck at the top here. So let's just kind of fold it over like this at the top. And there's our cape right there. Then when we're making our sundae, we can just stick it on. Okay, it's been about a half an hour, 45 minutes. Let's check this and see if it's soft enough now, if I can get the lid off. Yeah, see that's melted a pretty good amount there. So we should be able to use our ice cream scoop here and scoop it out. So let's grab our little dish over here. Go ahead, we wanna make sure that we get blue, white, and red. Wow, that is... Super. It's a good thing we're making super sundaes because that is super soft. Okay, it's looking good so far. One more. Actually, hold on now because this is the part where we add the cape. Right there is the cape. And now we're going to put some more right on top. And there we go. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's take our Ready Whip and we're just gonna put a little bit around here. And then we're gonna take a cherry and put it right on top. And there we go, guys. A very simple snack. There's the cape. There's our superhero ness underneath there. You can't see as much color as I wish you could, especially because I put the whipped cream around there. But we got the cherry on top, and that looks absolutely delicious. That's the best superhero sundae I've ever seen in my life. Let's take a little taste. We got the cherry. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's good. Okay, and let's have a little taste of this ice cream here. I'm really anxious to see how that tastes. Wow, that is good. Now, if you wanted to be able to put like nuts or, I don't know, M&Ms or little candies or sprinkles or anything else on there, I don't think it would taste right on the sherbet. So you would definitely need to get the actual superhero ice cream. You might have to search around a little bit for it though. As you saw, it was not at the Walmart here in Maslin, but they had two different kinds at the Walmart in Canton. All right guys, I'm gonna take my superhero Sunday and I'm gonna go downstairs and watch the best superhero movie on the face of the planet, Sky High.